Hello everyone. Today you're going to hear from myself and Sheriff Leon Lott about human remains that were recovered in a landfill off of 1692 Brazil Road in Elgin, which falls in Richland County. The remains were discovered on Friday, January 12th by workers using an excavator. The human remains are partial and incomplete, and I want to be very clear that we have not recovered the entire skeletal remains. They are incomplete due to disturbances caused by heavy equipment and an active mining and landfill operation. These disturbances to the area have occurred over time since around 2018. The remains are likely to have been buried in a clandestine grave prior to the sale and use of this land as a sand mine and landfill operation. The Richland County Coroner's Office and the Richland County Sheriff's Department, we've assembled a multi-agency team to search a very large area of interest in hopes of recovering more of the human remains. We would like to thank the Richland County Sheriff's Department's DNA lab for providing the work that was, a, that was able to allow us to identify the partial remains that we have of Adriana Laster, who was reported missing over 10 years ago from the town of Elgin. The Richland County Coroner's Office and the Richland County Sheriff's Department has worked tirelessly since Friday around 11 a.m. when the remains were called into our office. We have had teams out from Friday every single day, Saturday, Sunday, through the rain, all of the weather, the cold temperatures. We've also had the Office of the State Archaeologist of South Carolina Institute of, Ar of Archaeology and Anthropology, the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources, and Richland County Public Works out helping to excavate the sandy area. Even though we have made a positive identification of the remains as those of missing person, again, Adriana Laster, last name is spelled L-A-S-T-E-R, in collaboration with the DNA Laboratory, we still have the task of determining the cause and the manner of death. This requires a complete set of human remains, and we just don't have that right now. The search effort will continue for an indeterminate number of days, depending on our success in the recovery. I was out there this morning around 8 and was, was out there helping to search. We are literally having to use conveyor belts and automatic sifters. We are digging by hand using trowels and shovels and rakes, trying to find and recover as much of the skeleton as possible. The team effort that we have been able to put together is astounding. And right now, I would like to take a moment of silence for Adriana Laster and her family, because this is not just human remains. This is not just some, some person. This is someone's mom. This is someone's daughter. And she deserves the respect that everybody deserves. So if we could just have a moment of silence. I'm going to allow Sheriff Lott to tell you about his side of the investigation. Thank you so much, Sheriff, for being here. This is about closure for a family to finally know what happened to their loved one and, and where she was at. Um, you know, this is a case also about justice. Um, this brings back some very bad memories for those of us in Richland County when the young girl Gabby was kidnapped and murdered in August, uh, almost 12 years ago. Um, it took us a year to find her body. Um, Freddie Grant was arrested for that and eventually pled guilty and is currently serving 30 years. But uh, Ms. Laster had been reported missing to Elgin and we were very confident that Freddie was also responsible for, for her death. Um, a investigation by the Elgin PD, Kershaw County Sheriff's Department, Richland County has never stopped since that day. Uh, we've continued to investigate it, build up evidence that we could. Um, we just didn't have Ms. Laster, now we have her. Um, after this press conference today, Elgin PD has obtained a warrant for Freddie Grant to charge him with murder. And he's gonna be charged with her death. Um, talked to Gabby's mom, uh, let her know what was going on. This is um, something that 
she's had to live with with all these years. Uh, Gabby's mom was a good mom. And I know some people have said, well, you know, she allowed a monster into her house, but she didn't. Uh, he stole the key. He came in at the darkness of night and kidnapped Gabby and then killed her. Um, she, she lives it every day, just like Adriana's family has lived uh, every day with her being missing. Now there's a little bit of closure and at least they have something that um, they have of her. They have her. Maybe not all of her, but they have her. They know where she ended up and where she's going to be. And that was our goal when we were investigating Gabby, was to find where Gabby was. And, and we did, a year later. Uh, I called Freddy Grant a monster back then, and I'll stand here today and continue to call him a monster because of exactly what he, exactly what he was. Um, you know, Elgin PD did never wavered in their investigation. Our people never wavered in, in, in working with them to, to build what kind of case that we, we've got now. Um, he was moved from a medium, medium security uh, prison yesterday to now a, a different, more secure facility. Um, you know, the Department of Corrections has worked with us on that. We attempted to interview him yesterday. Um, the story is always the same, I'm not talking, which is fine. Um, you know, we will continue to build this case and we'll continue to work, but it took a lot of work, as the coroner said, um, from the moment those remains were found to continue to look for it, the DNA lab at Richland County, to be able to match it up very quickly and identify that as Adriana, uh, and then the investigation that's been going on all these years. Uh, when people go missing, they're not forgotten. We continue to look for them. We continue to investigate because that's someone's loved one that they don't know where she's at. And that's the, as a parent, as a grandparent, as a daughter, as a son, a family member, that's the worst pain you can have is not know where your loved one's at. And so today, again, two different things. Closure for the family. The coroner's talked with uh, Adriana's family and has given them as much information as she has. Um, and Freddie Grant knows that we're coming for him and going to have another warrant uh, served on him. So a monster continues to haunt this community. And when I say this community, Gabby's death just didn't touch those here in Columbia and Northeast Columbia. It was throughout the state, throughout this nation. And Adriana's case was the same way. It reached throughout the United States and the fact that here was a missing missing lady needed to be found. Um, through the grace of God, she's now been found. Uh, and through the grace of God, we're gonna continue to investigate Freddie Grant. And there's other things that he may be involved in. We're gonna continue to work those too. We're never gonna stop. We're never gonna be satisfied until we find every victim that Freddie Grant had. That monster caused so much pain to so many people. And we're going to make sure that he's held accountable for everything that he's ever done. Thank you so much, Sheriff. When I spoke with the family of Adriana Laster, they said this to me, and they wanted me to share it with all of you. They just wanted a pinky.